Hi guys, I am Lucky Lucy, and today we're talking about uh, resources, I guess it would be the topic for this, um, because I'm working on trying to lift up one of the floor joists still and having a lot of trouble with it. I, I don't know, like I'm trying my best, but I'm limited on my resources and it's just not going the way I want it to. I mean, it's it's slow progress, don't get me wrong, um, but I just needed more. So I thought, I was like, I really need some type of steel plate uh, because the, the uh, bottle jack that I'm using has a surface area of about this. And um, it's, when you put it on, if you were to put it on wood, it just kind of sinks in, like there's no actual support. So I needed some type of steel plate and I looked all over the garage and I couldn't find any there and I'm not going to go to the store and buy a steel plate because I just, I knew there was something better out there that was for free. And then a light bulb went off. Just down the street from me is a railroad and the downy a little bit even further is a railroad station. And um, where there's a railroad by my house there's like a big empty field and just mounds of trash. Um, old railroad things like those railroad nails. There's just like gigantic mounds of all these things. And um, I just thought, I remember seeing on one of my walks that they have these like giant plates that they use. And so this morning I took a walk with Bonnie and sure enough, I found what I needed. A steel plate. Um, it's, it's a little big for what I need it for, um, but it is, it's, it's doable. So we're going to hope that this works for what I'm doing. And I'm just, I'm grateful. I got up, I knew what I needed, and I went looking for resources, resources, and I found it. Um, so if you want to correlate to that, from this to my mental health, it was the same thing. I just, lately, I have been through some trauma, and I refuse to put myself in that victim mindset, but I also don't want to... I don't want to like pretend like it didn't happen. I still have to deal with it. And so I went out looking for resources resources that I could use to kind of process all of this. Um, I've been going to a Tuesday night meeting at Bright House. Uh, they deal with domestic violence and sexual assault. And I've been going to their meetings for a while, but uh, I reached out even further and asked, do you have any more other resources available? And they have one-on-one -on -one counseling, and so I started that and was able to just talk one-on-one -on -one with somebody to process what I've been going through. So, again, I'm not avoiding it. I'm dealing with it. Um, and I'm just finding those right resources for me to get through this and to keep staying positive and to keep having a smile on my face because I refuse to be a victim. I refuse to try to kill myself all the damn time. Um, I know that I'm worth so much more and I have so much more strength and things to give others. I have a lot to offer and I don't want to lose that. Um, I value myself. I love myself. And um, I need to stay alive, otherwise this house ain't gonna get finished. So <laughs> I'm doing what I can for my mental health, for the house and um, now all I have to do is quit talking to you guys and actually get some work done so love you all please be safe find your support look for your resources and always reach out please all right you guys love you Mwah.